Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball. We are continuing with the Order Reports Data Worksheet. And in this report, we will calculate the average unit price of these uh, different product sales. So we're going to create a report that calculates the average unit price for each product. Okay, so we'll pull up our uh, data worksheet. And in this case, we'll insert a pivot table except the range that's provided. And in here we will drag the product to the row section and then we'll bring extended price, actually unit price, down to, um, to the data section, the value section. But right now this is the sum of unit price. What it's done is for Alice Mutton, for all these orders it's added up the single unit prices and got up to a number of 1,349 but I want to know the average unit price of these uh, orders and so we're going to change this and I'm sorry that goes off the screen there a little bit but at the very bottom as you drop that down it'll say value field settings at the bottom and we're going to change it from being the sum to being the average and then it might be nice if we change the value field settings we'll click it again uh, the drop down choose value field settings and uh, we want to change the number format to may maybe be a number with two decimal places and even a thousand separator if it's that big and makes it look a little bit nicer. So uh, that's pretty much it for this one. You can beautify it as much as you like later on. One thing you should notice, I haven't mentioned this before, but when you click in the pivot table, these pivot table lists appear, but if you click outside, it disappears. Also notice the ribbons at the top. When you click in, additional ribbons such as options and design appear but when you click outside uh, those disappear so if ever those things disappear just click inside and it'll all come back and you'll be able to use those uh, let's name this then um, we'll call this B B I I I and this is average unit price 